Marvel's hero projects, Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Captain Marvel are being joined by some fresh faces who are also using their powers for good. They are young, real-life heroes who are making a positive impact and helping others. I heard stories of people being bullied in school. I was heartbroken. I needed to stand up for this. By telling my story, minds changed. I started looking into military charities right away because their sacrifice has been greater than any of us could ever manage. When you don't look your best, you're like, oh, don't look at me. She decided she wanted the community to have a free laundry day. I'm trying to give them the upper hand so that the playing field is level. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it going! Please welcome the mighty Rebecca, age 12, a transgender advocate fighting for LGBTQ plus equality in her home state of York. Up next, 16-year-old Soaring Seamus, who scales to new heights to support the families of fallen soldiers. And finally, 16-year-old Radiant Jayara. When kids in her community needed a self-esteem boost, she answered the call and made a difference. Come on down. OK, you guys are amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. This is awesome. So Rebecca, what is it like to you know like take off your mask <laughs> and show us you and tell us your story? Um, it's really cool to share my story because I know I'm helping other people and especially trans kids who aren't supported. What made you decide to speak up? I know that you spoke at the state legislature in your home state, New Jersey. That's a big deal. Yeah, so um, I started speaking up because I heard stories of people who weren't supported and who were kicked out of their homes and because they were part of the LGBTQ community or thinking about um, being trans. I mean, that's a, a big task to take on. Were you hearing this at school? Were you watching TV? How um, did you? It was at the first rally I spoke at. Mm -hmm. um, so it was in Jersey City. Oh, look at this beautiful smile. You're like a <laughs> kicking butt and smiling. I love that. Uh, Seamus, your mission is to help families of falling, fallen soldiers. And this is personal for your family as well because you have uh, family members who served in the military. Yes, ma'am. My uh, grandfather served in the Air Force. In the Air Force. Oh, well, that is so <laughs> The money you raised went to 13 scholarships? Yes, ma'am. Um, I raised money for Folds of Honor, which provides uh, educational scholarships um, for those families who have either lost a um, spouse or a parent um, in combat. And the number 13 is significant? Um, yes. Uh, the, the folded flag that's on Fo uh, Folds of Honor logo um, that is handed to the, uh, those families has 13 folds in it, in it. And when I decided to create this uh, event, I was 13 at the time. What do you do to raise the money? You, how do you raise the money in different ways? Or do you have one major way that pulls in the most support? It started when I was... Um, 13 years old, I had been climbing for a few years and had accomplished some major feats. And people wanted to know uh, what I was going to do next. And when I turned 13, I decided to create this three-day climbing triathlon where I would climb continuously for a mile around the base of uh, my recreation center tower, uh, bike 65 miles to Devil's Tower National Monument, um, and then on a third day, climb it. At um, 13? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I want everybody just to take a moment to think about what you were doing at 13. <laughs> I wish that. And Jayara, you started working with other kids, tutoring, um, and really wanting other people to have a chance to be treated with respect. Right, yes. So when I was 14, I was in the National Junior Honor Society. And so we had to get a certain amount of hours, and so we had to get 40 hours. So one of the ways that we got community service was to tutor the younger kids. The younger kids were on the other side of the school, and I would never see them. But when I tutored them, you could see how their behavior matches their the way that they look. In and what I, way? So my, I was talking about it with my mom, and so she was saying how they were acting badly because they didn't want to be made fun of because of their clothes. 
They wanted to seem as if they were funny or the class jokes so that they wouldn't be made fun of because of their clothes, but because their jokes were funny. So they tried to be disrespectful or mean so that they were able to not be judged based they on They were their armoring clothes. up. Right. To hide. They were shielding themselves from the hurt that they would get for not having clean clothes. And you created a free laundry day. Yes. How did that happen? Okay, so it's really crazy because <laughs> when we, my, me and my mom, we were talking in the car and it was a rainy day. And like, we always come up with the best ideas on a rainy day. So, <laughs> so we we were driving in the car and we drove right past the laundromat where we had the first thing. And so I was saying, I want to wash their clothes. And she's like, I'm not washing their clothes. <laughs> your mom's like, it's enough, I'm raising you. I got to <laughs> yeah. wash somebody else's clothes here. And so we came up with the idea of having a free wash day. And so we got in contact with the owner, Mr. Kim, and he's really nice. And he allowed for us to actually have the free wash day and give it to the people. He said room. yes? I mean, you went yeah. in? Yes, yeah, he was all in. He was all wow. in. Wow, were you surprised at how receptive people were to help you? Actually, I was because I was never able to do this without the people that laid the foundation. And so the people that laid the foundation were my NJHS coordinator, my parents especially. And so being able to have these free wash days were mostly because of them. And they say, oh, I'm so proud of you. And it's like, I'm proud of you because you were there for me no matter what. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, we need to add tissues and Monday motivation. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned your parents and your support. When we come back, we're gonna talk to the families of these very special superheroes. This is what we're talking about. Monday motivation. We're gonna lift up the conversation. We'll be right back. <laughs> Wanna be part of our live studio audience? To get your free tickets, go to TamaranHallShow.com and click on tickets at the top of the page. Pick a date, a time, and guess what? We'll see you there. <laughs>
So you're superheroes and you've got your jacket, your, your, you know, do you still have to do chores? I mean, do, or do you get to, do you have a superhero car? Do you get to look at your mom and say, hey, I'm, a super, I'm on a cover of a magazine? No. No, no chores? Definitely not. No, I do chores. Oh. <laughs> there are chores all the time. All of you have chores. chores. And Absolutely. this is the first time that you've all met. You're meeting for the first time in person on our show. Well, yes, you, you yeah. ran into each other last night. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. When people, you know, say, oh, kids these days, and, you know, oh, what's gonna happen with the next generation? Are you thinking, hello, we're here, and this is what we're doing? Little do you wanna bit, yeah. say that? Um, at times I do, um, but I think all of us really try to lead with our actions, um, and that's what's, uh, so inspiring about all the kids um, in the show is that we're uh, maybe um, not using our voice necessarily um, at first, um, but we, we find it along the way um, and use that to help as many people as we can. Well, you found your voice very early, and we are so motivated by everything you're doing. Jayara, Seamus, Rebecca, thank you for being here. Marvel's Hero Project is available to stream on Disney Plus. If you're looking for something to watch over the holidays with the family, this is it. So motiv Monday Motivation continues. We're gonna meet the man who was left in a dumpster as a child. Well, he grew up to be an entrepreneur of a company worth millions. And we have a big surprise coming up next. Don't go anywhere.